Okay, so we're going to do the uh, truss and the ranch roof system. I'm going to start with this step where we make the peak. So we're going to create a peak 12 feet from the bottom of our roof, roof, uh, roof beam. So for mine, I'm going to use the beam that I, use, I created outside of the actual object um, in my wood pile, so to speak. So I'm going to go 12 feet. Let me put to the bottom corner. Uh, keep in mind this is a component, so all this work is being done in edit component mode. This will come in handy, um, especially uh, to create the other ones. Okay, so we've got our basic shape. We're going to go down to the next step. It gives us our parameters for the beam itself. So that's nine and a half inches, which is the height of this as well. All the wood that we're using for this operation is nine and a half inches tall. So we're going to go perpendicular. So go 9.5 or nine and a half, if you wish. Do the same thing over here. Perpendicular is 90 degrees from that line. So let's touch that line. Parallel. We want it parallel. Same thing over here, parallel. Okay, you don't have to bring it to the end. Um, let's do it down here too as well. Um, going off the object actually might work better because sometimes finding that end point is difficult. So we'll just trim the stuff we no longer need, which includes our first 12 foot line. Get rid of that stuff there. Okay, let's get rid of this middle. Now, according to our instructions in the PDF file, we're going to create a beam, which is one foot three inches by one and a half inches. Okay. So let's go here. One foot three inches. Okay, let's zoom in. So one and a half divided by two is actually um, 0.75. So we're going to go, okay, now if you've created a line like that, because let's just make sure that we're going in the correct direction, which that one obviously is not. So let's change the orientation of our drawing just so that we can ensure that we're going to go in the right direction. 0.75, or you can type in three quarters. It's up to you. Okay. Go straight up. Okay, let's get rid of that once again. Let's get rid of this line. The peak line as well. Okay, let's give our drawing the thickness that it requires. Okay, let's go over here. Let's pull this out. We're going to pull that out so it's even with the other boards. Okay. If you're having difficulty and you need to key it in, just keep in mind that's 1.5. And we'll do the same with our middle board as well. Okay, there we go. And that is the joist that you're going to use. And you're going to copy this across your house. Uh, keep in mind, these boards should line up with the vertical board. 